Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some division. All right, guys, so patch 1.1 and the Falcon Lost Incursion are dropping this Tuesday, April 12th. And with those, we're going to be getting some new gear sets. And now we know what all the perks are and benefits we get from getting these new gear sets. Now, there's four sets, okay, and they work in tandem. So as you build up and wear more pieces of one particular set, you get more bonuses. Now, they're not all just found in the Incursion Falcon Lost, the Path of the Nomad. We're going to go through all these in a second, guys. One of them called Path of the Nomad can only be earned in the Dark Zone. So for each of these new gear sets, and there is four of them, you get maximum effect when you have four pieces of gear on. You start to see effects when you get two or three, but you really want to try to grind and get four pieces of one particular set to get all the bonuses. So now, this is what I call the Melt Machine, okay? This is the Striker's Battle Gear, okay? So if you have two pieces on, you get plus 20% enemy armor damage. Then if you have three pieces on, critical hit damage is increased by 100%. Then if you get four pieces, you unlock a talent called Shooter. So every consecutive hit deals 1% more damage and it stacks up to 100%. However, if you start missing shots, it's going to drop by 2%, okay? And bonus is reduced by 1% every second. So this class is going to be all about DPS and melting things as quickly as possible. Remember, the way the division plays out, it's not all DPS, just like it's not all health and it's not all skill. You need a balance. That's where the other gear sets come into play because you're all going to be working together and kind of ping-ponging off each other with regards to your build. Now, the next one, it says, well, from my intel here, <laughs> can only be found in the Dark Zone, Path of the Nomad. So if you got one piece on, you get a plus 50% for scavenging. Now, from what I've heard, scavenging doesn't affect actually how many drops. It affects the quality. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm still trying to get a definite answer on that one. If you got three pieces on, you get plus 20% health on a kill. Then, if you have four pieces on, you unlock the talent Nomad. When receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed up to full health. Can occur once every 10 minutes. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That, to me, reads into a really good set. Well, since it comes from the Dark Zone. For the Dark Zone, and maybe even by yourself. I, well, actually, you know what? I wouldn't want to run into a squad of four people all running Path of the Nomad gear. It, well, it'll make supply drops more interesting, that's for sure. Okay, next up we have the Tactician's Authority, which is all about skill and electronics, of course. So, if you got two pieces on, you get plus 4,000 skill power. I know, I could use that bonus because my skill power... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a full build this weekend, guys. I'm rocking uh, 95 health or 109 health and about 140, 150 DPS, but only like 15 or 16,000 skill power. So, I could use that. If you got three pieces on, you get plus 20% skill haste. That's reducing... That's reducing... Caduceus. I'm so used to saying Caduceus. That's reduction in your skill cooldown time. All right, then if you got four pieces on, you unlock the talent Tactician's Authority. And check this out. Every 60k damage your group deals, not just you, your group, adds 1% skill power to you for a max of 100% bonus. Bonus is reduced by 1% every second the group is in dealing damage. So that 60k damage that your group deals, you can do that easily, okay? Which means if you're the one wearing this, you're going to be getting really powerful skills, okay? Whether you're using the uh, Secret Mines, I love to use those. Smart Covers, my team rocks that when we're doing anything in PvE, not the Dark Zone. Smart Covers, Sticky Bombs, everything's going to be super, super powerful. Now, the last one is called Sentry's Call. I'm going to read into this and say this is probably more for the Marksmen, okay? For someone that's sitting back a little bit, sniping. Because if you have two pieces on, you get plus 30% head shot damage you get 20 percent damage to elites if you got three pieces on then if you got four pieces on you unlock the talent striker headshots mark the enemy increasing the damage inflicted on the target by 15 percent for duration of 10 seconds each a target can receive up to three marks so that i see is being really really useful if you've got a good marksman rifle i know for me i use the tenebrae that's my marksman rifle but i don't usually use it as often i use it for the lincoln tunnel mission but that's about it i'm more of an smg uh and of course my my beloved black market ak-74 user so i'm probably gonna like the strikers battle gear i know part of my squad we have everything kind of delegated who's gonna be the skill guy who's gonna be the smart cover guy who's gonna be da 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 for me i'm the guy that has well I've got it a lot of health, okay? So for that, I like to push up a bit. I don't take that much damage having 95 to 109 health, okay? So it's easy for me to get up close, which means the Striker's Battle Gear perks like enemy armor damage, 100% critical hit damage, and Shooter, the talent. I'm going to love that. Let me know in the comment section which set of gear do you want. And of course, we want all of them, right? We're, there's a Looter Shooter. I want all of them. But I think Striker's Battle Gear is what I'm going to like the most. So that is pretty much it for me, guys. I'm not sure what time, but I'm going to be streaming this live to YouTube on Tuesday, April 12th. 
You know me, Destiny's my first love, and I do love both The Division and Destiny, but I'm going to be covering Destiny, streaming that live also on YouTube, the kickoff for the next Destiny update, DLC on Tuesday, and then sometime that evening, I'll jump onto the incursion. So make sure you lock in and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and that's it. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MaceSean. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.